All right, all right. I believe that we are live here. Hey, gang, Wesley Anderson coming to you live from, wait, Minneapolis, <laughs> Minnesota. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, big travel day today. Came here to, to hang out with some buddies and have a lot of fun this weekend. Um, but did want to continue my lives because I made my commitment. And uh, for real, just this is going to be a fast one today. It was something that I actually um, saw at the pub last night. And so I wanted to share that a little bit with you. Um, if you like uh, if you like any of my videos, um, please feel to like, share, comment. Um, always, I love helping people. That's my goal. It doesn't matter what profession. Um, it really doesn't. So always trying to help out. So just a quick recap. Um, from from last, last yesterday's video was uh, remember when it when someone tells you they don't have the money for something right if it's an investment or a company that you're with instead of chasing them just ask the question is that why you can't do this or is that why you must do this okay so that's our recap question hey Amanda thanks for jumping on hope you're doing well my friend hey Mark hope you're doing well brother uh, I look forward to jumping on yours I saw that you did one just a little while ago I was actually in the gym on the treadmill, and I, um, I figured if I jumped on yours, I might fall off. So <laughs> speaking of, there was a father and a son next to me on the treadmill, and uh, and the kid fell and flew back, flew back and hit the wall. And I was like, Ooh! and his dad, clearly this has happened before, and his dad was like, don't worry, he's fine. He, care, he cared, but the kid, like, jumped back up and ran back on there. And so, you know, guys, I always tell you, uh, you know, when you fall up, you got to get back up as an adult, right? If you fall down on the treadmill like that, I know I'm not getting right back up. So it was kind of funny. So anyway, um, so that was the recap right there, making sure you're asking the right, that question. Number two, all right, if, you are, uh, if you're building business on Facebook, did you add your three to five people today? All right, did you add your three to five no matter what every single day? All right, and again, I have videos about each of these. Um, if you want to go back, if you're just checking this out and you've never seen any of my videos, they are covering those topics. And also, if you're watching this on replay, if you'll hit hashtag replay and tell me where you're joining from, um, I love saying thank you later. I appreciate everybody jumping on. So back to Darwin's Pub, okay? Um, so in, if you're ever in Houston and you like a cool little diverse little place to go, it's really cool, all right? Uh, great staff, really cool, it, it, different kinds of people, just fun, 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 fun people. So I like to go there on Wednesday nights kind of late sometimes because they do comedy night, Okay. And, uh, and I love seeing, like, new people because it's they're up there on the stage and some people are petrified. Some have been around a little while. And comedy is just a fun thing to watch because you never know when you're going to see, like, the next Mitch Hedberg come across. All right? And if you find someone like that at a little small pub and bar. So I love that kind of stuff. So um, we're sitting back there with a few of my buddies and we're watching and a couple of the comedians go. And uh, a new guy comes up. Okay? And he's sitting, he's sitting down next to me. And I could tell he was nervous, and he had his book, okay? He had his book right next to him, and he was about to go up, and, and two of the guys were like, dude, you're going next. You're not taking that book with you, are you? And, uh, and I know that comedians kind of razz each other pretty hard, but he was like, well, yeah. And, and like, so like four or five of them really started getting on to him, like making fun of him. And, and fortunately, he, he went up there. He still went up to the stage with his book, all right? And he, and he was brand new. I mean, you could just tell he was shaking. Uh, and he started telling some of his jokes, and he was looking at his notes, and he was really clever. He wasn't hitting them all perfectly, but they were very clever and funny. So you could just see that all we ne he needed was some practice on delivery and timing and that kind of thing. But they kept making fun of him, even though what he was saying was funny and they knew it. It was clever, all right? And finally, he dropped his book because he, he just kind of gave in, all right? He listened to the, the cool kids, I guess. And, and I was like, no, 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 please don't do that. Uh, but it's not my business, right? So he st all of a sudden he starts bombing, and he forgets what he wants to say. And, he, and shortly after, he, he just exits stage really fast. And, and it was, you know, that's part of the game, right? It's part of learning. We know about that kind of stuff. You get back up and keep going. But it was a real shame um, because it was you, no matter what, no matter how long, even if they're the cool kids or the vets or the ones that know how to do this, even if they own the joint, that kind of thing. Don't let them get to you. You take your book of notes up there and you keep it until you're comfortable. All right. And he goes, you think so? And I said, absolutely. That's the way you learn. And, and you guys know that I always teach the person with the marker makes the money, regardless of what profession you're in. The person with the marker makes the money. And it's tough to be able to learn how to present it first. So it's totally okay to have your notes. Okay, it is totally okay for you to have your notes. I don't care if you're in front of a group presenting with your notes. Tell people, hey, I just want to make sure I get it right. 
okay? I don't care if you're up on the comedy stage doing that. I don't care if you're doing a Zoom live. I have some notes right here. I never know when I need to glance down. And, you know, when I first got started with these, I tried it without notes. And my buddy Michael Lines, who's, who's just this fantastic friend and really sharp guy, he was like, dude, it's okay to have your notes. It shows that you're, you're, you're practicing what you preach, you're, you, you're prepared, and it's okay. So what I'm saying, I guess the lesson from today is, is twofold, all right? Don't worry about what others think of you. Don't worry about what others are saying or making fun of you because you have to practice to get good. They were, they were there at the beginning at some point, okay? And, and if they're that kind of person, who cares? Forget them. Do not worry about what others. Do what you need to do to get to the top, okay? Do what you need to do, and it is okay to use notes in whatever you're doing. So um, I just wanted to share that quick tip with you. I hope you got some value out of it. If you do, please like, comment, and share. I'm always happy with that. Terry, thanks for jumping on. Hey, Randall. Hey, Howard. Hey, Matt. Thank you guys for jumping on. I appreciate everybody. Have a super safe holiday. Um, if you guys are traveling, be safe, and uh, I will uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow. Wesley Anderson from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Peace out.